What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another What's Coming Thursday video. So as you can see here, the Halloween campaign is officially over tomorrow and this is going to be replaced with a brand new campaign. We'll get into that in just a second. Also with the events here, today is your last day to clear any of these events, right? So if you haven't cleared any of these uh, against the AI, including round one here where you can get 5,000 eFootball points, they're pretty worthless, but you might as well do it at the moment. Spanish clubs and the London clubs, that is tied to the Halloween campaign, the London clubs won there. Also with this one as well, the London clubs won against the PvP online is going to be ended and the Spanish club won here, right? So that is the events done. Also on top of that, we are going to be getting a brand new phase in the eFootball League, okay? That is coming on the 7th, which is tomorrow. So if you are in Division 1, you will get relegated back down for the next phase, which is going to be Phase 3 of eFootball 2025. You'll be getting back down to about Phase 4. Um, and then, obviously, if you're in Phase 2, you go back, you know, to Phase 5 or to Division 5, right? So Division 1 to Division 4, Division 2 to Division 5, and so on and so on, right? So, yeah, the game has been a little bit up and down uh, for me the last couple of weeks. But yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow in the stream. Also, the match pass is always tied to the phase. That is going to be ending as well. So if you haven't cleared that or you want to unlock any of these, you can do so there as well. And that is pretty much going to be the league, the divisions, the events, and of course, the, the match pass as well, right? Everything else here, they're not going to change too much until the next big update, right? So we do have an idea of what's going to be coming in the Halloween campaign based on kind of like last year. Um... When we did have, you know, a couple of different things happening, right? The daily game is still ongoing, but usually they will extend out the daily game when it, with a big, big update, right? I don't know about G lads. Have the penalties actually gotten harder to score? I've missed more than I've ever missed. It just seems that the goalkeeper chooses right every single time uh, that I that I uh, pick a pick a position to shoot it into. But also with this Drogba one, they won't probably upgrade these laps, right? We're on laps uh, eight now. I'm on lap eight here. But there is, like what, 24 laps in total, so you will probably be able to clear this box. This box includes David Beckham, Tony Adams, and of course Carvajal, Oblak, Salah, and Cole Palmer. So you will probably clear all of those similar to the last time when you were able to clear and get all the older legends as well, such as Costa Corta and of course Maradona, right? So that's going to continue to go. But it is going to be all about the cards. And obviously, I think we will get a Black Friday sale as well. Uh, they like to do that. So last year, Konami actually had this with eFootball 2024. So it'll be interesting to see whether to do it. It could be next week, but I definitely think that they will do something like this. Whether to do it as a campaign or not, whether it'll be the next campaign, let's see what happens. But they have done it for the last couple of years. So let's see what the crack is with that. And then also on top of that as well, lads, we do have new player of the weeks, right? So they have actually um, showcased these player of the weeks and they've teased these player of the weeks over on Twitter, right? On the official WE Konami. And it doesn't take long. I mean, we know what players are going to be coming based on the models here. You've got Adamola, Lookman, you've got Akubo, and you have Danny Almo here as well. So that looks to be what is going to be coming for the player of the weeks. Of course, we could get other player of the weeks as well. There is a few other players in there that might actually come um, to the game, such as Perrin, Solanke, and Harry Wilson. And I would say that the booster ones, it's going to be a little bit more interesting, I think. Obviously, we'll have these three as the boosters, but are these two of the three as boosters, but it'll be interesting to see what actually comes. Now, I want to talk about one of the most popular questions I'm getting asked all the time, and it is got to do with the Barcelona MSN attackers, right? Now, I'm going to be doing a video on this, okay? And I'm going to talk about MSN, I'm going to talk about a couple of other bits and pieces, right? There are a lot of players that are still yet to come in the game, but I think that's probably the biggest one. I think this will drop in the next two to three weeks, Obviously, they'll want to have it dropping, you know, before Christmas time, maybe tied into the Black Friday sales, right? Also, on top of that as well, we do have a lot of legends here that are still to be added, including the Dutch trio. Um, on top of that as well, Zanetti is in the game. He'll probably come very, very soon as well, maybe as soon as Monday. We'll obviously know what legends are coming Monday on Thursday. So tomorrow we'll know. Could be Kaka as well. But also on top of that as well, I know it's all about legends and it's all about this and it's all about that. This is the full list of legends here, right? So some of these have already been released, such as Stoichkov. Um, and obviously, Turam is there as well. That has to be released. Vieira. Some of these obviously have been released, such as Xabi Alonso, Tati. 
But we do have a couple that are still in here that have not been released yet. Obviously, Cruyff is out there as well. There's a Figo there. There's a Roberto Carlos there. There's a lot of players that are there. I don't think that we're going to get, in my opinion, I don't think that we're going to get a lot of new uh, legends, like a lot of new legends, new, new legends, until the next big update, which is going to be V4.2. So I think for everybody asking, I mean, V4.2, they've already kind of talked about that. I do feel, man, that with the next big update, it is going to be it is going to be 4.2, where they make actual big changes, you know what I mean? So, it is going to be interesting to see, let me know what you guys think, as I said, we do have, we do know that V4.2 is going to be coming uh, because of the unavailable list here, they've already talked about V4.2, and these players are going to be released with V4.2, so all the standard cards are going to be gone, but let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you in a little bit, we will be streaming tomorrow, a fairly long stream as we go through everything, until then, I will talk to you later, peace, don't forget to subscribe.